Hi, so I've clearly just woken up. Um, I wanted to talk about why I removed a lot of my videos from the past year on this channel. Um, like a lot of them pertaining to mental health and the reasoning behind it is, um, I'm getting ready to do laundry. Um, the reasoning behind it is because I have changed so much and I think those videos, there's some that have stayed, like some things that are talking about codependency have stayed, but some stuff hasn't. Um, because if you were watching my channel during that time frame, you know I was struggling so much. And I think that was a document and I think it was still very brave to post matters that address issues about me and issues that I was struggling with um so to not act like a cop out and act like I'm afraid and I care so much about what other people think and I don't want these videos on there no like I'll be real with you I struggled with codependency and sex issues and what I mean by sex issues is not I thought you know that uh sleeping with a man and all of those things I didn't really know how to handle my own sense of my own sensuality. Hold on, I'm putting this down here. I didn't know how to handle my own sense of my own sensuality. And I had a, a hard time not hard time grasping the fact that dating and failing at it is okay. Um <laughs> like I acted like everybody that I dated was like the end all be all of everything and that's kind of not realistic um and then I'm back sorry I kind of paused the video halfway through um to uh go to the bathroom and brush my teeth and stuff but basically I have realized that where I was at in my life last year in 2017 it was so there were so many times where I felt so hopeless and I was addressing issues within myself that I wasn't really ready to address and I I relate a lot on this channel I had talked about some traumas that I had um in terms of like from my past like not from seeing sexuality at a young age and not knowing not knowing how to harness or harness that growing up from skin color issues from self-esteem issues um i don't know if i i think i talked about my suicide attempt um i mean everything that i went through my first 15 years on this planet I wasn't living in a space that was healthy for myself I've slowly decided to stop seeing my therapist um, because I think she and I have realized that we're just at a point where my progress being in therapy the last seven eight years it's where it's at um, I now am dating healthily um, I won't disclose you know whether or not I'm in a relationship or from single but um, I am dating healthily now in a manner where I'm not attached to somebody, like over attached um, or under attached to someone. I now know what works best for me in terms of my own uh, romantic and uh, what I feel comfortable with expressing with others. And I think the reason why I know all of these things is because of everything that happened last year. And the fact that I posted these intense video diaries, I talked about uh, queerness, I talked about feminism, I talked about self-sexual self development, I talked about healing traumas, I talked about codependency issues, I talked about sexual dysfunction, I talked about um, romantic attachments, anxious attachments disorders, I mean, and all of these things are like intrinsically connected in these weird ways. Um, and I will never forget the people that commented on these videos and watched these videos and were supportive of me being so honest. Um, but now I'm in such a different place in my life 
it, it's like so crazy how when you're in your early 20s you're developing over and over and you're changing I mean I just graduated college I'm getting ready to start a career um, so there's a lot of changes that need to be made on my channel and and I you've noticed I haven't really posted a lot lately and the ones things that I have posted have been happy things with me singing because I'm not depressed anymore I think I know how to manage those emotions now and without the platform and the audience that I had with people watching me you know talking about these things that I was struggling with it was a blessing um, with that being said I will always be honest about everything that I've been through but I think this channel needs a happy overturn because everything was so bleak and I will still always be a hyper intellectual individual I will still always talk about the things that I don't understand on this channel in life or the things that I want people to know you know I I am grappling right now with my feminism and my womanism and the power of choice and uh, having myself be presented in a certain way and I think that's another reason why I deleted the videos too is because I don't want to be presented in a certain way but that's tough because why am I worried about my presentation in order to enter the workforce or in order to enter any type of future adulthood like and I'm worried about it, to be honest. I feel as if, you know, your 20s is that time frame for you to not understand these things, but people are so judgmental about what can be understood and what can't be understood. I go-go dance part-time. I'm thinking about quitting that. I've been doing it for a year. Um, and just completely overturning how my life is at the moment in terms of, like, my freedom and being single and you know all of those things I think I'm ready to kind of move away from that space and that's gonna be an unfortunate talk with my boss like I think I am going to quit cage dancing I haven't decided a hundred percent yet but I'm still I'm still thinking it over because and, and I think the reason why I took some of the videos down talking about a lot of my sexual development is that I realized unfortunately people are still stupid and they think these ideas about you when you are able to to talk about or talk about things that are really personal to you and to be honest when people hear sexuality they don't think about the history of the sexology the the study of sexuality and they hear sex and you know they're not paying attention to the fact that you're talking about traumas you're talking about mental illness you're talking about why people are doing the way you things things that they're, that they're doing you're not talking about sexual development in a way to get attention and to be a slut and to be all these different things right or you're not talking about you're talking about it from a, a literally an academic standpoint and over the course of the year I noticed that people were finding my stuff and I feel like they were watching it not for the reasons that I posted these things. The reasons I posted my video diaries and I talked about all the things that I struggled with was not to gain attention in a way that would make me look like a target for somebody that wants to look at me in a certain way and I'm realizing that that kind of attention is going to be it's going to be there no matter what you do. Um, and I kind of don't care anymore, but at the same time, I want to be honest about I'm struggling with how do I present myself in a way that is not a way, it, it's a way that you can be intelligent and articulate and have thoughts and ideas and express them but you don't want to express them in a way where people are looking at you with this motivation or that you have like this motivation for the wrong intentions like for them to put their own agendas on you and I realize it is impossible to do that you can be the most innocent and daring thing publicly but people are still going to have these perceptions of you and so that's why I have realized I'm gonna keep some of the videos up there that I posted from last year talking about my journey, talking about therapy, talking about all the hard stuff 
some of them will stay, but a lot of them are going. Um, because it's time to change some of that image, but it's also, it's time to understand that, I don't know, I've moved out of that space. And I will never be ashamed to admit the things that I've admitted. Um, but it's time to move out of that space. Um, I'm not a sick person. I'm not a broken individual. I was literally having a crisis every week, uh, crying, breaking down on myself. And those were really hard moments, but they were all documented. And so many people watched and didn't judge me. And I cannot thank everybody that watched this channel and let me be myself and talk about the things that I talked about with no judgment. Because as an empathic person, as a highly sensitive person, as a Virgo sun, a Cancer moon, you know, somebody that has these emotions all the time, and as an introvert and as all of these things where I'm stimulating my mind always, I need a platform of people who want to watch these, watch this content. Um, and I will always be honest. I will always be so honest that I will make people uncomfortable with what I say because that is the greatest tool that we have. And I will never be ashamed for what I do. And you know, maybe I just answered my own question about cage dancing. Maybe I should continue doing it because, yeah, I'm transitioning out of a certain period in my life, but it doesn't take away from my professionalism that I cage dance. So, you know, there's certain things that I'm going to let go of, but there's certain things that I will always keep. And I don't know, I'm realizing maybe in becoming a multifaceted person, you need to know your strengths in terms of everything that happened in your past bringing you to the present. And so... I don't know, in terms of this channel as well, things are going to change because I'm healing and it was a part of my growth to go through all of those things and to document them. And now that I'm in a different space, I want to document a new side of me. So that's all I wanted to say in this video. Okay, bye-bye.